like visiting Ted. The idea is, as you've seen before, the the ability to collect maps and use them offline in any environment without bandwidth, you know, and and interact with them. But the, the really cool thing about this version is the way it now connects to a store. So what you have here is an iTunes-like environment yeah. for buying for maps, for buying maps. So in an age where paper maps are dying and all these publishers, you know, the map industry, yeah. not the GIS industry, the map industry, is trying to find ways to continue to sell maps, which are no longer being consumed on paper, but they're still maps. They still need maps. So you deliver them as digital paper. What's digital paper? PDF. So this, here's our iTunes, I, app, like our app store, but it's really a map store where you're able to search for and purchase maps from, you know, hopefully at some time, millions of vendors of maps and content providers from, you know, national agencies to National Geographic. So this is an iTunes. This one has been uploaded to iTunes and is waiting so Apple this, approval. So okay. the this version is, that you have is a, is or that you would get today is. A, uh, a couple months old, so this right. is the one that we're, this, hopefully it'll be approved by the time we get back. So for people who want to find this in the near future, they hit the iTunes store, search, search, search for PDF or, maps, or search Benza. PDF maps, or, or scan this with their or scan that QR or, code reader, yep. or go to avenza.com. Yep. Right. So the idea is now, and, and if I want, if I'm going to a national stop. park, okay. I can go to the national parks maps, and I can leaf through all the national parks maps and find the park that I'm going to. Say I'm going to Grand Canyon. And I get a preview of the Grand Canyon map. I can tap on it to make sure it's the one I want. Yeah, that looks like the one I want to buy. Then I can buy it, which one's free. It's a National Parks map, so it's free. And I can get it. And it's downloads to my phone okay. or my iPad, as the case may be. Can they sell it, too? Yeah, of So course. they want to sell yeah. it for five right, bucks? Right. Is so a, if you go, so that's the idea. Is that yeah. no? I mean, there's enough free content there that people are interested. There's about, probably sure. about a hundred thousand free maps. So, but with uh, all of your wow. people using your software, they're generating nice yeah, cartographic. But it doesn't have to be. But it doesn't it have to be generated by our software. Okay. Anything yeah. that can create a PDF, a geospatial PDF, or a geo PDF, could submit it to you guys. Could submit it to this application. Oh. Okay. So even if you're using Esri products or other environments to produce geospatial PDFs or Terrago PDFs, you can use them in this application. So there's my Grand Canyon map, and that's the official National Parks map, the same one you'd get if you went to one of their visitor centers. But now I have the ability to use it with the GPS in my device, so when I'm walking around the park, it knows where I am. I can do things like measure distances. Okay, and different area, different, different units. I can add waypoints. I can add data to my waypoints, including building up an attribute table. I can export the waypoints if I want to use them back in a GIS application later. So if in a, in a more you know, facilities management or, or a more industrial situation, you know, you can put this in the hands of, say, utilities guys or road maintenance workers instead of the tough books. They go outside, they have the map, they can add waypoints, tag data, get back to the office, export it, put it in their GIS application, and, and sure. move it further from that. Even something else, which is really cool. So I can do that on my iPhone, when I have the map on my iPhone when I'm out hiking. and Right, and okay, so your phone, is, that, is, that, a, is yeah. that a U.S. phone or a Canadian phone? This is a Canadian, I'm on the Canadian iTunes store. Oh. Right, no, but what I'm saying is it's sure. Rogers, probably Rogers to tell us or something. Oh, it's, well... It was an AT&T phone I bought in the States. No, but where so, are you playing? Oh, you my paging? carrier. Oh, the carrier is? <laughs> uh, Virgin Mobile, actually. In Canada? Yeah. Okay. So it's an so unlocked when device. But when you're here in the United States, if yeah. you want to use data, you're paying Rogers. for data. Yeah. Right? So you don't want to stream your Google Maps or stuff like that to your phone when you're paying for data. Right. So you wouldn't it be better off if you had this map? You can walk around San Diego and know where you are. Right. Offline. Okay. This map here. Scan that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then you're offline. You can still do all the things, know where you are, and, and that type of thing. Um, another Perfect. cool thing. You get all the Canadians who are roaming on data to do, download that map. And watch this. Oops. Watch this thing. So now I'm going to delete these waypoints, and I'm going to show you another cool feature. Let's say, oops, I'm going to delete these. 
Now, let's say I want to start with no waypoints, okay? Now, I can do a search that incorporates Google. So it ties into Google Play? It ties into Google on this map. So, let's say I'm looking for sushi in where I am. And it just knows your map. You don't have to say I'm in San Diego. You could, this could be a map of Paris, and, and it would still work, right. even when we're in San Diego. And I do search, and it goes out, and it finds me a bunch of sushi restaurants all around where we are here in San Diego. You see? And they're fully attributed. Nice. You see? Link to their website. So that's come back, come, the website phone number. So now you can call and make a reservation if you want. So this will, so it's tying in the power of the vast database of Google search capabilities and all that stuff into a PDF map. And now when I want to use this map offline, I still have the value of those points. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to cut this off. We're getting a little long. It's the uh, events of Map Store. Right. Thanks, Ted. Thank you.